right little 12 volt battery meter on the uh, 10 amp scale showing the input to this little guy here <clears throat> got a 12 volt PC fan on there and that If I can get it 12 volt 240 milliamps see 0.24 amps is what that's rated at so I'm gonna slowly so I'm gonna cut this on slowly pump the uh, draw up fan went ahead and cut on so I'm gonna go ahead and crank it up to about 240 milliamps what it supposedly would run at normal that's working pretty good um, I, I don't quite remember how fast this thing moves straight to the battery but I don't think it's quite that fast it might be definitely might be but that is to say it runs about the same so uh, let's see but there's a light bulb here let's see what that does so that definitely cranks up the draw on um, both the the uh, DC load and this AC light will run simultaneously because they're on different windings. But unplug that load, light gets much brighter. So let's crank that back down. So we have this little 12 volt input. I'm getting a little bit of light from about 20 milliamps. I can maybe maybe still get it. Now, when I bump it down below about 20 milliamps, the light goes out. So the light is not on at all right now. I got to slowly, now the light is starting to slowly come on a little bit. Uh, cut this light over here off. Better see that. Just crank it up here. 30, 40, 50. So you start to get really quite usable light, about 100 milliamps. By that I mean setting it in a room somewhere, cutting it on, and being able to read from the ambient light even by, without having to sit right underneath it, let's say. But at about, about 200 milliamps, it <clears throat> becomes a lot more useful. Crank it up to about 400 almost you're almost at mains brightness but when I bump it up as high as the circuit will go about 6.67 700 uh, milliamps a little a little 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 ways under an amp I get about the mains brightness Which is, which is not bad, not bad. But the whole idea for me is I can tune it down rather nicely with this guy. But also if I wanted to run the load and the light, you see draw does not really change. It just compensates for it with the light which the light doesn't really get much dimmer once that fan gets up to speed. So, basically what I have here is, um, I can also run it from this, this battery, by the way, three and a half volts, and that light will still get pretty decently good. Same thing with this fan. The fan drives a little faster than it would with a straight connection. So I would imagine it's roughly the same uh, with this 12 volt 
But um, at any rate, this guy was an old crappy power supply. I didn't really need it. Um, <clears throat> it was nothing but a 12 volt supply, four and a half amps. Um, that was ripple free, which I, I personally had no use for. So I just remade it into this guy and um, drilled a hole, add the, add the potentiometer. Um, got a couple uh, neons on the back there. It's kind of hard to see. But this cord coming out the back basically is just uh, my rectified collector current, which I can use to run these DC loads or charge batteries. And this light is connected directly to the secondary winding on this transformer. And the transformer inside there was a 120 to 12 volt transformer. I would imagine four and a half amps because that's what this was rated at. So it's very similar to those Radio, Radio Shack transformers that we were buying in the past. And I had used one of those in the past to charge on my batteries. It was a 12 volt, four and a half amp transformer. And I made a circuit like I have actually back here, uh, which is just charging a drill battery right now. But um, basically what we would do is do, it was a, like a, a Z2 vid style inverter type deal where uh, you take the black winding on your primary, run that to your positive, and you make a jewel thief winding out of the other two yellow windings. And then you have a secondary on that transformer that will give you high voltage. Actually, with this guy over here, I realized that the one and a half amp version of that Radio Shack transformer worked better than my four and a half amp version. So that's what I have in there, except the secondary of that winding is actually ran through a switch, which I can short out that winding or not, which actually gives me a higher low. Uh, shorting out that winding actually uh, provides a, a pretty good boost on my collector current. So that's all I did with that. I short out the secondary, more current. It's like a high setting. Leave it open. It's like low setting on that circuit works pretty good uh, over here the secondary is actually going straight to my uh, high voltage lighting collector current still rectified running my DC load so they can run simultaneously they kind of share <clears throat> the transformer kind of balances out that way and keeps your load uh, current roughly the same um, now with this the only other thing is I've got this uh, little LED here. Basically what that is, what I've done with that is what I've done with other Jewel Thieves in the past. To get this working relatively good, I had to put a, a find the right DC choke. And that DC choke is basically just a toroid in line with my positive rail. And that toroid has uh, two windings on it. It's a bifiler toroid wound. And that one winding I'm using obviously is the choke and that other winding which is isolated is basically just has this LED on it. So when that LED lights up, it sort of gives me a relative idea of, of um, the flyback that's going on, you could say. Um, so that's something I find pretty useful that I just use as sort of like indicator lights. And um, <clears throat> a lot of these transformer circuits I end up, this is just basically what I end up doing with them. They turn into battery chargers sort of variable uh, regulators, I guess you could say. And uh, and like I learned with this guy, pretty good lighting circuits. Like this one over here also, I could light a mains light very brightly. I don't know at what current cost that's, that's it though, because this is just sort of like a battery charger from you. I don't really care. I leave it plugged in the wall. Uh, this guy is, would be something geared more toward, like for example, if I needed to have long-term lighting or maybe charge another battery or something, and I'd didn't necessarily have a mains input then use like a battery like this uh, so obviously the goal there would be to see how long I could run something like that uh, from a battery so this is a little under an amp um, and I, I could actually put several of these in series I tried that so this is a little under an amp I'm using a car battery deep cells whatever in a garage it would actually work out uh, great because if I wanted to, I could turn it down uh, to a, about 100 milliamps and it still becomes fairly usable. But at about, um, I'd say about 250 50 or so milliamps, that's when it becomes a really good deal, the light for uh, your current cost.
So I basically have made my jewel ringer circuit obsolete again, simply for the fact that wiring it this way, more like a traditional jewel thief, just allows me uh, better control. At the same time, it's just more robust for also turning it into a charging circuit. And what I found, so yeah. All right, that's it.